Hey guys and welcome back to Fenrir and we are going to be doing a webinar today all about how to tire out your dog. Tiring out your dog is really really important and it's going to help you out because it will stop them being destructive in the house, it stops their bored behaviour and makes them really tired to be in the house and a very very good dog for you. So without further ado, let's jump into my top three tips of how to tire your dog out. So let's start with number one, which is obedience, which is super, super good because you may not be actively working them, but you are working with their mental. So you can do loads of different things. You can do sits, downs, place, roll over, and learning new tricks for them is gonna be really, really good as well, as it's gonna push them really hard with their mental stimulation, and that is a great thing to do. It's gonna tire them out, and then they can have a long rest, and you can kind of get on with whatever you need to do and stop that behavior that you might be struggling with. And moving on to number two, which is changing up the way they eat. I know it sounds strange, but bear with me, as this is all about our Fenrir foraging mat, a great way to feed your dog. I use this with my puppy Riley, which is a Labrador pup, which is a really good way to feed her because as you know, Labradors get very, very food driven. So slowing down her eating is an amazing thing to do. It helps with bloat as well, which is absolutely awesome. But you might be asking, how does this tire them out? Well, when you just put a bowl in front of them, they can wolf through it in no time. And I'm sure you know that. But with this foraging mat, you can really dig all your little bits of kibble or different bits of food into that foraging mat and they really have to work hard. And it goes back to their roots of hunting and foraging for their food. So it's a perfect way to feed your dog. And this taps into their olfactory senses where they're gonna have to smell and work things out and it will really mentally drain them to find that food, which is perfect because, like I said, a tired dog is really, really good for their behavior in the house. So this is gonna become one of the most challenging parts of their day is having their food, but it's a great thing to make your dog work for food. It makes it a challenge for them. It makes it mean that they're not gonna be thinking that it's an easy task for them. So it's a really positive thing to be doing, just stepping up, working for their food. So number one and number two are more to do with mentally draining your dog, which is a great thing to do, but how do we actively drain our dogs, but also use some of that mental as well to really, really tire them out. And that is a good old game of fetch. Now, you may be thinking, well, just throwing a stick, surely that's just tiring them out because they're running back and forth, but you can step that up even more by adding in obedience to it. So for example, you can get them into a heel before you throw that stick and you can get them to wait before you throw that stick, or you can throw it and then get them to go and release them from that sit. There's loads of different things that you can bring in obedience wise into a game of fetch that's really, really gonna tire out your dog. And having a tired dog is exactly what I say. It's a good dog, it's a well-behaved dog, and at the end of the day, it's also a happy dog. So if you put all these three things into your day, <laughs> you're gonna have a very tired dog, which means you're gonna have a very relaxed evening, which is absolutely perfect. Tiring out your dog is one of the best things you can do because it makes them a happy dog. So give these three things a go and you will have a tired and happy dog. 